welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about six health issues in the Shetland Sheepdog. So Shelpies are a breed from Scotland and they're sturdy like the Shetland Pony. They're strong, agile, and athletic dogs. But like all dog breeds, they have health issues. So here are some health issues that you should know about Shelpies before getting one or rescuing this dog breed. Number one, Collie Eye Anomaly. This is an inherited disease causing a genetic mutation of the genes that determine eye development in the dog. This disease can be diagnosed by a veterinary ophthalmologist at six to eight weeks old, or your regular veterinarian may even notice the clinical signs. Visual abnormalities include small eyes that may or may not have vision, or eyeballs that are sunken deep into the eye sockets retinal detachment and blindness, and another easy visual one where they may not go blind from is a hole in the iris called a coloboma. All of these abnormal eye developmental disease are part of collie eye anomaly for Shelties. Since CEA is an autosomal recessive trait, Shelties without CEA can still be carriers, and there's a lot of work being done by breeders to breed this out of the breed. Number two, Progressive retinal atrophy, or PRA, is another recessively inherited genetic eye disease that causes degeneration of the photoreceptor cells in the eye. Found in over 100 dog breeds, this disease specifically attacks the rods, which is responsible for night vision, whereas cones are for color. The onset is usually around five years old and it is a progressive disease starting with night blindness and then full blindness in these dogs. Number three, dermatomyositis. This disease usually affects young dogs and develops around six months old and can emerge as early as seven weeks old. Clinical signs include skin lesions around the eyes, ears, lips, and face, as well as the tips of the tail. Muscle atrophy and thin body weight is also present and worsen when the dogs cannot eat due to esophagus and muscles of mastication being affected. This disease is an autoimmune disease and there are varying degrees for affected dogs. Mildly affected dogs can recover on medications such as prednisone and atopica and live a normal life. While some dogs the disease is so severe they are humanely put to sleep. Number four, the MDR1 mutation. Shelties, like hundreds of other herding dog breeds, can have the MDR1 gene mutation, which causes their cells to be more sensitive to drugs. Most commonly, ivermectin found in HeartGuard, Imodium for diarrhea, and some chemotherapy drugs. So be cautious if your dog is a herding breed taking any of these medications. You can easily test for the MDR1 genetic mutation by doing a simple mouse swab from your dog from any doggy DNA test kit. Number five, hypothyroidism. Shelties are commonly known for having low thyroid levels, which are due to an autoimmune reason. They will present with either weight gain, bilateral hair loss on the flanks, or lethargy and no interest in exercising. With medication, they can have a great prognosis and can live a normal life. Number six, type three von Willebrand's disease, which is an inherited genetic bleeding disorder found in Shelties. This disease is characterized by near to total absence of von Willebrand's factor in the clotting cascade. Shelties are usually diagnosed around three to seven years old. They can survive this disease by living a more calm and sedentary life, but some dogs may experience life-threatening bleeding from an otherwise small injury. And Shelties, like other herding dog breeds, are prone to hip dysplasia and luxating patellas. And there's one more thing I couldn't help myself but mention to you, is that if you get a blue merle bred to another blue merle, it's called a double merle, and they are prone to deafness or blindness. So that's something you need to look out for if you're looking to purchase a Sheltie for yourself. All right guys, you just learned so many health issues of the Shetland Sheepdog. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have a Sheltie yourself, please put something in the comments below. I'd love to read it.